Hey, hey everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to use the XLOOKUP function in Excel. But in particular, I'm going to show you how to use the XLOOKUP function if your search value contains just a portion or a partial match of the word that you're looking for. So for example, you might not know the full business name that you're looking for. You know it has urban in the name. So what this XLOOKUP if contains function does is it goes down and searches column B, searches the business, business name, does it have urban in the name somewhere? And it brings back those details. It doesn't have to be an exact match, which is what typically an XLOOKUP or a VLOOKUP does. So I'm going to show you how this is done really quickly. It's one portion of the XLOOKUP function, which has multiple uses, but I'm just going to show you how to use this XLOOKUP if contains. So let's get started. I'll do this quickly. So just pause and rewind if you need to. So start the formula equals XLOOKUP opens brackets, and instead of selecting F4, I'm going to put some wildcard characters in there. And to do this, in double quotation marks, I'll put the star and the ampersand. I'll select F4, or you could type in the word. I'm just going to lock this so I can drag the formula across. Type in the ampersand and the star again, and press comma. So what this is doing is it's looking up F4, and this wild card character of star says, I don't care what's on the left side of it. It can be one character, none, no characters, or multiple characters. And also on the right hand side, I want to find anything. I don't care what it is. And now I'm going to look up that value in cells B3 to B17. I'll lock them so I can drag the formula across and comma. What do I want to bring back? In this instance, I want to bring back the business name, but the full business name. So I'm going to bring back B3 to B17 again. But this time I'm not going to lock the cells because again I want to drag that formula across where it's looking up a different range in the next formula. Comma. If it's not found, if I can't find urban at all or whatever I type in there, I can type in what I want to bring back. So I'll bring back maybe the words not found and I'll type that in double quotation marks. Comma. And now we're looking at the match mode. Like I said, typically in a V lookup or an X lookup, you do an exact match. It has to match exactly and bring back those details. But this instance, we only want to bring back something where it contains it. So there's a wildcard character match. So you type in two, close the brackets, and press enter. And it's brought back Urban Screens Market and all the other bits and pieces. Now you can change that again. I'll type in the word Starwave. And you can see it's gone down that list. It's found Starwave anywhere in that business name and brought back those details. But there is one limitation with the XLOOKUP, is it usually just goes through the list and brings back the first instance of that business name. So for example, if I typed in SPA, it's gone down that list, it's found SPA, Wellness SPA, and brought back the details. But in my list, there's actually two SPAs. There's Harmony Wellness SPA and Sunset SPA. So which one does it bring? It brings back that first one. But you can change the XLOOKUP where it brings back the last one. So it goes from the list from the bottom and goes up. And that's a really easy change in the formula. So I'll just go back in right at the end of the formula, type in that comma, and you've got these options. Type in one to search from the first to last, so from the top to bottom. Or you can search from last to first by typing in negative one. So it searches from the bottom of the list and goes up. I'll press enter, drag that formula across, and you can see now it's gone from the bottom of the list, found Sunset Spa, and brought back all the details. But there is one last thing you might want to do, and that's you want to bring back both those business names, so any of the names where it contains SPA. So you can't actually do this with an XLOOKUP function, or not easily. So I've got another video where you can use the filter if contains function. And what that does is it will bring back anything that contains SPA, and it brings back multiple lines. So here's the video here, check it out. It's really easy to use and really easy to follow. And don't forget, if you like what you see, please subscribe or click that like button. See you next time.